Welcome to the 10th in our Aurea Software Evaluation video series. In this lesson, we will learn how to parameterize the noise power threshold. Firstly, we will have a short overview of the noise power. Then we will check the noise thresholds. And finally, we will end with a real application example. The Jest IC library includes a noise power estimation, which is displayed in the variance window. Depending on the external noise conditions, the MGC3130 controller chooses the best working frequency automatically. The frequency hopping is controlled by the automatic frequency adaptation algorithm. But it might happen that strong noise sources cause false triggering of Jest IC features when all frequencies are noisy. This could have the effect of causing some of the Jest IC features to not work flawlessly. For this reason, the user can select to turn off dedicated Jest IC features in the event of strong noise in some corner cases. However, we generally recommend you use the default values. But what are these Jest IC features and how can we switch them off for extreme noise? Within this parameterization step, three sliders can be used to adjust the maximum variance limit for gesture recognition, including flicks and circles, position tracking, or for touch detection. All these thresholds are displayed in the variance display by three colored horizontal lines. If a slider is pulled completely to the left side, this means that the limit is off. Then the corresponding feature will always be on, regardless of the noise power. The slider range can be adjusted from 0.1 to 50 LSBs. By default, all thresholds are turned off. Now, how do you adjust these settings? For that, we need to experiment with different noise sources to judge the noise power level at which we want a feature to be disabled. We will look more closely at this in the next example. In our example, we inject artificial noise on the Jest IC system ground. This will result in higher noise level on the sensor signals. High noise may impact the functionality of the Jest IC features. Let us first check the setup. This consists of a dedicated board used as USB power isolator. On this board, we connect our Jest IC board power and we also connect our noise generator here. Our noise source will be sine wave amplitude modulated, and for that we use waveform generator. Let's have a look at the impact. First, the noise source is switched off. We can verify in the variance window that the signals are quiet, in a good shape, and have a variance value of less than 2 LSBs. Now, let's switch on our noise source. We're injecting noise on the 115 kHz frequency. The automatic frequency adaptation algorithm detects this noise and changes the working frequency to 103 kHz. MGC3130 continues operating correctly. If we change noise frequency again to 103 kHz, the automatic frequency adaptation reacts quickly and changes the working frequency to 88 kHz. We now force the MGC3130 to only operate on 115 kHz frequency in order to better see the impact of noise. Next, we go back to the system startup parameterization step and disable all frequencies except the 115 kHz. Finally, we adjust the noise frequency back to 115 kHz. As we can see, the noise power level is higher. By default, the noise power threshold is off, so when we, for example, move our hand over the sensing area, the position data is not calculated correctly. If we don't want to get corrupted data, we have to adjust the noise power threshold. Let's move the slider and enable the noise threshold for position tracking, a small adjustment to three LSBs. Now, if we move our hand, we can see that position data is no longer displayed because the noise is higher than 3 LSBs. The same procedure applies to gesture recognition and touch detection. This tutorial described noise power parameterization.